Hello and welcome to the channel. I am Pelagazi M and on today's video we are doing these feed-in braids and we're even going to add a bit of color towards the back of the braids. So here I am just showing you guys different angles of the braids, the sides, the top and the back of the braids. I would recommend learning how to do this hairstyle because who doesn't want to rock braids? And this is the length of the braids. They are just below my waist length and I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like from the back and from the front when standing and when sitting so that is it let's get into this tutorial please don't forget to like and subscribe please 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 okay period that really helps a lot so I started off by parting my sections off camera. My sister helped me with that. And I am going to be using Styling Dreads Molding Gel Wax just to lay down my edges and the hair that is at the front of um, the braid. So I'm not going to apply the gel wax throughout the parting, only in the front section. And once I've applied the gel wax, I'm just going to brush it in with this small tooth comb, but I'm also going to be using a brush. I would recommend using either one that gives you the smooth effect that you're looking for. What works for me is both the comb and the brush. After brushing in the molding gel wax and laying the hair, I am going to start off by doing a cornrow that is about two and a half centimeters long before I start fitting in the braiding hair. So what I've noticed is that when you start fitting in the braiding hair immediately, that causes more damage on the hairline, which are the edges. So I prefer to braid my own natural hair for about two centimeters or one and a half. Um, then I start putting in the braiding hair or then I start feeding in the braiding hair into the cornrow so when feeding in the braiding hair you just take the braiding hair slide it under the index finger of the other hand so that would be the hand that is coming over my head from this angle so I just take the braiding hair slide it in and hold and then create the braid and then after creating the braid once do the same thing again Take the hair again, slide it under the index finger, create the braid. So it's basically repetitive, just the same thing over and over again until the back. But once you feel that you have enough braiding hair on that section, you don't have to continuously fit in. But I just wanted to continuously fit in and that resulted in me having a really thick braid, which I later on had to... Um, take down and then redo but then you know the first braid is always a bit of a mess So once I was towards the end of the first section, that is where I started feeding in the colored hair. You can honestly just feed in your colored hair at any point. I am using hair in the color 33 and the darker hair is in the color 4. So I use three different brands of braiding hair. You can use whichever braiding hair of your choice. So here I had enough um, uh, color 33 hair so I just started creating the braid going down and this is what the first braid looks like. Yes I know, gorgeous, absolutely. So now I'm just going to work on the second braid. I'm going to follow the same steps as I did with the first braid. So we start off with the molding gel wax, apply it at the beginning of the section or in the hair that is towards the front. Once there's enough molding gel wax, brush it in with a small tooth comb and then follow up with the brush if it's necessary and then after I followed in with the brush once I'm happy with how flat the hair is and it is flat to my satisfaction I put the brush down and I start cornrowing for about two centimeters we cornrow because we are trying to save our edges because we enjoy having a hairline that is why we first cornrow prior to fitting in the braiding hair and once I've cornrowed the desired length or the desired centimeters I I am then going to start fitting in with the braiding hair 
and I slide the braiding hair under my index finger of the other hand that is coming in from the other side over my head. So I just slide in the braiding hair and then I control once or twice depending on how much braiding hair you want to fit into a particular section and then I just continue fitting in the braiding hair and creating the braid all the way to the back. So I am now at the back, but I started fitting in the um, color 33 braiding hair much later compared to the first braid. So here I'm just trying to show that you can fit in your hair at any point that you want to fit it in. Whether it's still on the section of hair on the row that is on your head, or whether it is much further at the bottom of your braid. You can fit in the different colored hair at any point. I'm no longer gonna do any further talking because what I am doing is pretty much the same throughout so I'm just going to let you guys enjoy the video.
Yeah. 
I am now done with all my feeding braids. I have a total of seven. So I'm just going to secure everything with the Care Firm Hold Styling Mousse. So I'm just going to spray a generous amount and spread it throughout my entire head. This just helps lay down the hair and lay down any flyaway hairs. So I didn't shake it properly prior to me spraying it. That's why it's looking very much like a liquid and less like a foam. and while the foam is still wet i'm going to go in with an old toothbrush to lay down my edges Once I'm done laying down the edges, I'm going to put on this satin duke and then I am ready for bed. For this, you can use any headscarf of your choice. This is just the one that I prefer to use for today's video. Okay, it's now the next day and it's time for the moment of truth. So I'm just going to take out the headscarf and see how everything is looking. And yes, of course, it looks great. I love it. I'm happy with the outcome. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. Please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, share with someone who needs this information. Don't be stingy now. Keeping all this information to yourself. And right here, I am just giving you angles. Okay, child, please. And that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching up until the end. Everything that you need is listed in the description box. I hope to see you on my next video and bye.